fun stuff ahead of you, for you guys. Uh, your mobility today is going to be a traveling bird dog. What the fuck is that? So, you know what a bird dog is, right? Here, opposite limbs, reaching opposite walls. Right? So a traveling one, you're gonna have to get into a fair crawl position. Right? It just takes me a few seconds before I get, even myself get started, right? So you're gonna extend, right? And you're gonna make it go forward. So you're still staying in that bare crawl position, but also ooh, a little pop in the back, right? So you're looking to activate the upper back muscles when you extend out, and also your glutes are gonna get fired up. I'll do this way too, so you guys can see it at home. Make sure, here, forward, here, Forward. Take your time with it. We're gonna run through it about two and a half minutes, and then we're gonna do one more mobility drill. Next up, we are doing a lot of pushing movements today, right? So we want to make sure our upper back is fired up. You guys have done it a thousand times. We're gonna do a round of YTWs. So Y, ten reps. Make sure you feel the upper back, and then T, and then a W, right? The palm facing down. Cool, let's get to it. One quick round, 10, 10, 10, and then we can get started with our warm up. Next up, warm up. It's gonna be three rounds every minute on the minute, all 280 exercises, okay? So two exercises we're gonna do, 20 seconds, and then the next minute, then you're gonna switch to the next exercise, 20 seconds, and then we're gonna increase our time. So 30, 30, and then 40, 40. Right? So it's an ascending EMA, alternating exercises. First exercise, plank, shoulder, knee tap. Squeeze your glutes, plank. Damn, I did the same thing this morning. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Okay, simple stuff. Try to eliminate that wiggle in your hips. Try to keep that core nice and tight. Again, you're not counting reps, you're counting time, or I'm counting time for you. Next up. Medicine ball, <sighs> sit-ups, okay? So again, I just said we're, we're doing a lot of pushing today, right? So we wanna make sure our lats are fired up and they can help our shoulders with our movements. So you're coming over the top, whipping that ball, and obviously you're getting your core worked as well, okay? No reps, we're doing it for time. Any questions? Concept this week. Three different exercises. You're gonna do one round every three minutes on the minute. Okay? So if I have to adjust the reps, I will for you guys, but you're looking to get it done quick so you have at least a minute to a minute 15, minute 30 rest every round. Okay? Plenty of rest. It is Powered Strength Week. You guys know the deal. We're looking for smaller reps. More effort, more intensity, and more rest. So three different styles, or techniques I should say. First one, your first exercise is gonna be a mid, or is gonna be a hold all week long. So for today, our, our hold is gonna be a mid push-up hold. So mid push-up, right, if your full push-up is here, midway through, it's gonna be about here. Right? So if you're doing full push-ups, instead of, you know, obviously if your knees are down, you're looking to squeeze your glutes, keep your head up, keep your head neutral. All that pressure is on my upper back, chest, and triceps. And obviously you're getting some core work, right? So you're gonna hold that position. If you're at the level of doing knee push-ups, it's totally fine. Same rules apply. We're looking to tax the upper body a little bit. We're looking to exhaust the upper body muscles, not necessarily the core. So if you're here, same exact thing, okay? Key component, make sure your elbows are not going out to the side. Obviously, I'm gonna correct you if I see it, but your elbows are going back, and your upper back is also being engaged, okay? You don't want all that pressure on the front part of your arm. Okay, I say that all the time, and I'm never not gonna say that. 15 or 30 seconds, anywhere in between, depending on your fitness level. Immediately after that, you're gonna do a plyo push-up. 
Again, whatever fitness level you're at. If you're on your knees, right? Or if you're doing regular push-ups. Key component, if you're not able to control the landing and come off the ground with a solid core, I'm gonna suggest regressing the exercise. It just makes sense, right? Um, eight reps for that. And your next one is gonna be the strength component, which is a floor press or a bench press, some kind of chest press. So if you're on the floor, you guys know the deal. Same rules apply, you just, I just went over them, right? Pinch your shoulder blades back, pressing up with, obviously, as much energy as you possibly can, right? But your elbows are facing down towards your hips, they're not facing out. If you want a little bit more core work, if you're at home and you have lighter dumbbells, you can always do the tabletop position. Anytime you guys are here, you can choose barbell, dumbbell, floor press, your options with that. Your reps for the strength component are gonna be anywhere from six to four. What I mean by that is six, if you choose a weight, if you're getting six reps and you wanna go heavier to head to that four rep range, by all means do it. Finish your time. Three exercises, the goal is to get five rounds in, okay? Here's the trick, I'm gonna stop you after one minute of work and we're gonna rest for a minute. We're gonna work for a minute, we're gonna rest for a minute. So your job is to get through five rounds, but stop when obviously, when the time is stopping, and then when you pick back up, you're gonna start where you left off to complete those rounds. Okay, it's really simple exercises. All body weight, you should be able to do them really fast. First one, jumping jacks, 25 reps. Next up, squat thrust, seven reps. Next up, straight leg sit-ups. Big exhale on the way up, trying to keep those legs straight. Get a good stretch in your lower back. Obviously, you're getting your core work. We're doing those uh, 12 reps on the straight leg sit-ups. Pretty easy, right? Body weight exercises, let's whip right through it. I'll stop you at a minute, Make, take a minute rest.